This is football in Africa. Passionate fans coming together for a street game. Players doing their all to entertain the fans. Football in its purest form. But as it happens, football is not just a way to stir up crowds and passion. In Africa, football is so much more than a game. Football is more than just a game around the entire world, but especially in Africa. Look at this humiliation! You can tell these guys are enjoying themselves on the pitch. But football in Africa is also a life school. First of all, football brings people together. Le sport, c'est l'activité qui, qui fédère le plus les enfants. C'est tellement important qu'on ne peut plus s'en passer. C'est comme la nourriture ici. Un enfant, même s'il est pédé tout de suite, ou bien il est passé, tu lui donnes un ballon, non, il oublie tout. The ADE school, based in Tiahua, in a Dakar suburb, Senegal, is trying to give kids an education, in particular, ones from the poorest backgrounds. And with this offer of an education, this school puts a particular importance on sport, and especially football, the perfect universal sport. When I practice this science of sport with the children, I feel the love. The love is the complicity between me and the children. In Africa, football is an amazing way to pass on life lessons. The school doesn't make us reproduce a model academic. So we teach us the knowledge. Mais ces connaissances-là doivent être pratiquées. Et puis, à travers le sport, à travers le sport, beaucoup de ces connaissances-là peuvent être véhiculées et dispensées au niveau du sport. On peut véhiculer beaucoup de valeurs, par exemple de la, de la tolérance, des valeurs civiques, euh, l'éducation environnementale, la santé. Sport, as well as teaching the kids essential values, leads them away from taking the wrong path in life. Thanks to sport, the kids brighten their futures instead of darkening them. On a constaté qu'ici il y a beaucoup de délinquance, beaucoup de, de déperditions scolaires. Alors, pour pallier à ça, beaucoup, on a constaté que les enfants qui, ont, qui pratiquent le sport, ils n'ont pas le temps d'aller manger ou bien d'aller faire du, du, du petit banditisme, de faire des raquettes. Non, non, non. C'est des, des personnes civilisées correctes. Donc, euh, c'est pour cela que le sport est important. In Africa, football helps young people avoid the temptation of crime and giving up on their studies. It can also be used as a social ladder. Thanks to football, anything is possible. These words must resonate with the kids. They never forget to stop dreaming. That's a trait of childhood. <laughs> L'exemple de Sadio Mane est patent. On peut sortir de néant et devenir quelqu'un de professionnel international. Et là, vous savez, au Sénégal, il y a beaucoup de corruption. Mais dans le domaine de foot, il n'y a pas de corruption. C'est le talent qui, qui compte. Did you hear that? It's talent that counts. Nothing but talent. Sadio Mane is a perfect example of football's power. That yes, anything is possible. As I always said, you, you have to believe yourself and you have to believe what you're doing all the time. And uh, try to, to, to do uh, the job together. He's gifted. He's got a lot of talent. But above all, he believed. He didn't give up. Overnight, he left his native Senegal to conquer the world. And he conquered it. The first day I arrived in France to do trials and sign with FC Metz, I didn't have any credit on my phone card to call my mother and tell her that I was in France. The next day, I went to buy phone cards. I rang her and said, Hey mom, I'm in France. She told me, What do you mean? Which France? She didn't believe it. Sadio never stopped believing in himself, and today, he's an international star. Today, Sadio Mane is on the front page of the papers for his sporting performances, but also his generosity. He funded the construction of a school and a hospital in his home village. 
Sport is a form of upward mobility. It worked perfectly for Sadio Mane. He's made it to the top of the world. This importance of sport and football in Senegal led to the birth of the Yakar project. Le projet Yakar en vérité, il est né il y a 5 ans. Euh, je me suis retrouvé euh, par un heureux hasard ici à Thiaroy dans la banlieue de Dakar dans une école qui s'appelle ADE. Et j'ai découvert cette école, j'ai découvert Djibril son directeur. J'ai vu à quel point Djibril aidait les enfants au travers de l'éducation et j'ai vu surtout il y a 5 ans l'importance du sport et du football pour les enfants, filles ou garçons. Et donc il y a 18 mois, j'ai décidé euh, de ramener des maillots de foot spécialement faits pour les enfants de l'école ADE. All the jerseys have everything is possible on them. A phrase that really spoke to Sadio Mane in the past. Yakar means hope in Wolof, and hope doesn't disappear with a click of the fingers. So, despite COVID, despite financial difficulties, despite logistical problems, the Yakar project still exists, still living, stronger than ever. The kids got their jerseys, jerseys that they'll be able to take with them on their journey through life, journeys that they can wear out, get dirty, rip even, as long as they have fun with them. Maybe among the kids wearing these Yakar jerseys, there's a next Sadio Mane. And that includes girls too. Sport is universal. There's no gender, stereotype, or prejudice. Je dirais aux filles de mon âge et les filles plus grandes que moi que le sport c'est pas juste pour les garçons. Faut pas passer penser comme ça. Parce que j'ai appris dans l'histoire qu'on disait que les filles ne devaient pas aller avec eux à l'école. Et ça c'est révolu maintenant. Si ton cœur te dire d'aller faire le basket, le karaté, le football, l'handball, tu peux aller le faire. Faut pas rester là à entendre les gens qui disent les filles ne font pas ceci, les les filles ne font pas cela. These faces could be the future Manes, future Etos, future Dragbas. These faces could be the stars of tomorrow, examples of success, both women and men. Football is the best school to give them a bright future, a bright future that they get to write. The Yakar project, which is only just getting started, has already done so much. The aim now is to make it better, to build an environment where kids can work, play, and develop in good conditions. If you want to help out with the next step of this project, you can. Yakar means hope, hope that you can provide. We're attaching a link to this video for the Yakar Project's fundraiser. The smallest contribution could be huge for Yakar. As you can see, in Africa, football is so much more than a simple game. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.